Restoration. Restoration is brought to you by Hisense. Everyday prices for everyday people. Yeah, it's extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got yes protection. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use tasty tom and rich tomato mix. For naturally whiter tea, Pepsi and charcoal. Hello, welcome to Restoration with Stacey. We're brought to you by Kind Ketsi Hisense. Everyday prizes for everyday people. Yas washing powder and Yas sanitary pad, hooch corn and choco flakes. Tuwazi Apartments, La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, and a very big thank you to our glam team, ABS Lux Line for my outfit, GH Beauty Artistry for makeup, and hair duties for my hair. And a very big thank you going out to Malta Guinness. We'll be right back after this break. Yeah, the full frog rubber tomb and your high sense hero promo. Yeah, crowd on a yahoo boy. Now, could you love it? Do amount TV, sound system, mobile phone. Yeah, TT to say who share hero 24 no high sense TV so 4K definition. Pop a B. Yes, I saw a QLED and a mini LED TVs. It is B. I will be a 5032. I could see 100. She shown me you would hear with the high sense TV. I share hero 24. So we to send you more. And in down, sound no ever you clear. Now we cry high sense mobile phone. Let me be with me share. Every tenth, every fifteenth June, at the hour four, now you start this war. And your high sense hero promo. High sense hero promo. I cost you more high sense showroom bia. It's a call. Now we do it here. High sense everyday prices for everyday people. Tomato mix. Oh, fuck a cra. Now you be brave. Fuck a cra, young quine is stew. Do do a open. Tasty Tom Deer. It will surely give you value for money. The steak, a little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. Tasty Tom Tomato Mix in tea. Me high writing. And it's a soda. Then I need to be a sanet here. It's a customer's bar never. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use Tasty Tom and Rich Tomato Mix. Fuck a cra, ya be brave. This advert is FDA approved. Remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yas extra long sandwich took the worry away. Easy. The new Yas extra long sanitary pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. But don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes. Yes, yes. Feel confident, stay fresh. Hi, is this supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence, I got. Yes. We got yes protection, I got. Yes, extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got yes protection. Every child is so unique. You like no other. Outstanding in every way. It's me like so anytime you walk and play, you like no other. You are special like Indomie. It's me like no other. Did you know that every child on the planet has their own unique fingerprint like no other? You like no other. I can play the drums. I'm talented. It's me like no other. I can sing. I can dance. You like no other. As well as their own unique talents and abilities. I can cook. So every day, in whatever you do, remember you are special in your own way, like no other. Thank you, Mom, for letting me know I'm special and for making me my special Indomie. Thank you, Mommy. Introducing Indomie Beef Flavor by now. This advert is FDA approved. <gasps> I love person and charcoal. Why? When there are so many other charcoal toothpaste. That's both charcoal and lemon. Oh, does it? Yes. Look right here. Yes. Pepsin and charcoal has two of nature's powerful whitening ingredients. With the power of activated charcoal and lemon essence, it removes stains and whitens teeth naturally. Convinced? Well, I am. Just look at your beautiful Pepsin and smells. <laughs> For naturally whiter teeth, Pepsin and charcoal. Pepsodent. 
way your tomato mix. Would you swap one on pass? Still loud with tomato flavor, no? No color changing like traffic light. Like. Debia, coco, come on. Tasty Tom Deer. It will surely give you value for money. This steak, a little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. Taste not so dear. On point. Flavor new. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use Tasty Tom and Rich Tomato Mix. This advert is FDA approved. Ow. Let me see. She's never had a toothache before. Hmm. There might be a cavity. Don't you use Pepsodent? We used to, but I'll try the new one. Ah, that's why. But doesn't every toothpaste give cavity protection? Not really. Pepsodent's Cavity Fighter repairs tiny invisible holes to give 10 times stronger teeth. Will you trust Pepsodent? Definitely. Pepsodent. Use Pepsodent's Cavity Fighter. Every child is so unique. You like no other. Outstanding in every way. It's me like no other. So anytime you walk and play. You like no other. You are special like Indomie. It's me like no other. Did you know that every child on the planet has their own unique fingerprint like no other? As their own unique talents and abilities. I can cook, I can paint. You like no other. In the middle, in the middle, it's you like no other. So every day, in whatever you do, remember you are special in your own way, like no other. Thank you, Mom, for letting me know I'm special and for making me my special Indomie. Thank you, Mommy. Introducing Indomie Beef Flavor by now. This effort is FDA approved. Tasty Tom Tomato Mix. Oh, fuck a cra. Nah, ye be brave. Fuck a cra, yan kwa ni stew. Dodoa ope. Tasty Tom Deer. It will surely give you value for money. The steak, a little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. Tasty Tom Tomato Mix in tea. Me ha writing. And si soda. Se na ne de ne sa ne tea. Inti customers ba ne ba. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use Tasty Tom and Rich Tomato Mix. This advert is FDA approved. back and I have been so excited this whole time because now my life has been made easier with my Malta Guinness Jeja Khan. Yes, this is my Jeja Khan for you. Yeah, so sleek. I carry it everywhere I go. Good thing, it's rich in vitamins B1, B2, B3, B5 and B6 and it comes with a lot of energy and carbohydrates. One amazing thing about this can is it's the same volume, the same taste, and the same price as our previous can, which is the big can. And so if you see the big can and you see this Jaja can, know the value is the same. And please remember, this can and this amazing multi is proudly made 
here in Ghana. So go out and purchase yours and thank me later. My guest for today, oh my goodness, like I want to clap, is one woman we all saw grow in the industry. And when I say grow, not like virtually grow up, but we have seen her start. We have seen her evolve from that fierce young lady into a matured woman who has distinguished herself to the amazement of so many people. And I know that so many people would want to hear her story. And I'm glad that she has joined us today. My guest today is Mrs. Victoria Lebene Osafon Kansa. <laughs> Vicky, how are you? Thank you. It's I been am forever. Fine. Eh? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you so much for that beautiful intro. <laughs> but you are a baby. We also, Vicky, with, with the short hair and the blonde yes. hair, we all saw the wild young Vicky. Yes. yes. And yes. now we yes. can see the woman that you have become. Yes. I should say, I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Thank when you. you got into this industry, yes. it was on a lot of controversy. One minute, Victoria Lebanon this, Victoria <laughs> Lebanon that. Was that a strategy? Or that was just you living your wild early 20s life? Yeah, yeah, I think I was just living the moment. I really didn't know so much about what controversies were or scandals were. I was just going by the flow. <laughs> I was just having fun being myself, being that bubbly person, happy, spirit-free person that I am. Wow. Yes. Where, where did you grow up? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. I was born and bred in Accra. I was born in uh, police, the police hospital uh, around cantonments. Yes, so at the time, my mom and dad, we had moved to Accra. My dad is a, an ex-prison officer. And so I lived, I grew, you know, basically in the barracks, okay. the cantonments, mm -hmm. the police, uh, uh, prison headquarters okay. cantonments, yeah. That's opposite the uh, police opposite station. Opposite the police station. Okay. And so um, I, my whole life evolved around that area, you know, with the environs of Osu, Laboni, cantonments, and, and, and the other environs. So I was, you know, more, you know, juggling through those areas, going to school around GBC. Okay. At the time, there was Agri Memorial um, um, Primary School. I think, I think it was an international school at the time. Okay. But, it, I mean, it, it came down perhaps because of um, management issues or whatsoever. And so I, I got exposed to uh, the industry life and media life because of how close GBC was, to the, was to the school. And so every time we close from school, I'm hurriedly going into GBC to see what's happening. I was curious to know how these amazing personalities like Gifty Auntie were reading the news right from GBC. And so we go into the studios, we watch them getting ready, prepping, and then they're rolling. So it was so beautiful to watch. And that's how come I decided to, you know, um, um, gear towards that direction. That in direction. Life. From what you're saying, having a presence officer as a dad meant he was pretty strict yes yeah. extremely strict i mean i've never seen any strict person as my dad wow so how were you able to bring out the wild victoria without <laughs> daddy getting upset it, it, it's been a roller coaster really I, I i'm feeling very emotional right now because anytime i want to delve deep into this story um, it, it gives me a lot of chills because I think as strict as my dad was, he has helped me to become who I am today. Because my dad will literally beat me up when we're doing homeworks. Why? Because he wants me to get it. If you're not getting it and knock is on the way, you won't eat. And the knock is on the way before you even try to even go and shower and eat. Like he was that strict. You make sure your mathematics is on point. Your English grammar is on point. 
your your, your size is on point. Is you don't have point. room to fail. Ah. And so when he does, I mean, we've had series of that. I've had series of that trauma. And any time that happens, there are times that he'll whip me up just because he needed me to get it right. And my mom would just pick me up with all the bruises and then try to heal, warm it up with warm water. And there's something they call won't <laughs> If you're an elbow and you know what won't I'm a testimony of won't Jeez. That that means one has our wedding. Wow, we story. story <laughs> no, no, they fast so, no, they yes so, and it was pretty good. So, um, it heals like quickly, wow. and then she will put me to bed, take care of me and everything, and it it continues. My dad doesn't care whether mommy will take care of you or not. You have to know book. So my dad g- gave me that book long session. Till I grew up. I mean, we've had a lot of um, um, transitions, moving here and there, transfer from this um, um, city to this town. I've roamed a lot. Mm-hmm. I have roamed. When, when we say roam, not like moving from Accra to Takrad. Mm-hmm. I have I've seen a lot of things that I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to even share it. And I've always thought of putting it into a documentary Which form because it can't take just a day to finish it. Yeah. The day you decided to get in this space, entertainment space, and your dad seeing you for the first time and seeing that girl, he was bent so much on taming, become this bubbly, wild girl who is just living her life. Did you get a call? Um... No, not until um, there were a few controversies going around. Because I think at the time I decided to join the movie industry or bring out that skills embedded in me, I was a little bit, you know, aback from my parents because I had to make ends meet Mm -hmm. for myself, you know. I had to hassle my way through adulthood and yeah, the moment become, you hit 20, 21, <laughs> adult you're on your own. Come. You're on your own. <laughs> and so um, I don't think I was I wasn't too close to them because everyone had parted ways, mm-hmm. you know, you know, trying to find their ways out. So I, it was it was quite smooth for me because I mean, at the, the point where I, I, I got away from my dad was our last transfer to Takradi. OK, that was when. I, I got out from secondary college. I finished secondary school and I decided that, oh, I made it. My father also decided that, oh, you're all grown. You're an adult now, so you can go anywhere you wanted, you wanted to. So, so you realized it was just keeping you for that it was just, age of maturity. Yes, so it yes. was, he was guarding you like I a bird. Understood, I understood yeah. completely, but oh my God, he was extremely strict. So w- what first controversy got him to call you? <laughs> I think that of Kofi Ajululu. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, he was like, "What are we hearing? What's what's going on?" And I'm like, I, I don't know if I picked the call immediately because I had it. You were I was, a slap will come through. The phone. <laughs> I was going through a lot of heat at the time, all the bruhaha from yeah. social media. So I was like, okay, you know, what? let me just put my phone aside and try to calm myself down because I really don't even know what this whole thing is about. about. So I had to go through it and then before calm down before speaking to my family. And when you explained to him? Oh, they understood. They understood. I was like, okay, well, you're not supposed to. They're not supposed to be saying that and people are calling me and they are saying this and I'm like, daddy, calm down. Calm down. (laughs) This is my industry. (laughs) This is my industry. Calm down. Speculations are bound to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, these kind of controversies are bound to happen when you're entering the media space. One way or the other, even if you try to ignore it, Mm -hmm. it will be the new And so some of these things don't happen willingly. And it's for one of two reasons. You just, you know, realize that it's it's all about yeah. what you're all about. Just caught up yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Wow. 
<laughs> At what point did you start dating Eugene? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, that's a tough question. <laughs> yeah, for me, right? So I didn't know there was a dating. Um, in my corner then, my mama calls and it's like, we are going to a wedding. I'm like, whose wedding? Says, oh, Lebanon. I'm like, okay. Then, yes, Lebanon is getting married, fine. <laughs> then as we prepared, I'm like, ah, who should get married to? Then she's like, it's a surprise. I'm like, what, what do you mean it's a surprise? I'm not going if I don't know who. Yeah. Then she's like, Eugene. I said, which Eugene? It's like, Kokonsa. I'm like, which Kokonsa? Because you there was there, there was nothing. Because he even wrote stories about you. Yes. So I was like, what is happening? <laughs> At what point did you guys start dating? I, I can't even remember, but I think we didn't just start off by dating. Okay. It started off like being friends, you know, um, knowing me, knowing you, um, you know, just chit chatting, admiring you and, you know, that kind of, you know, boy girl thing. And so we got talking and it seemed that he, he, he was interested in getting to know me more. Getting to know me more means, you know, you know a man and a woman. Yeah. And so, you know, where the industry I find myself in, for a woman, you need to be very careful yes, the kind of man you get along mm -hmm. with, especially if the person is in your fraternity. Yeah. And so I, I got a little bit laid back in getting to know him. Because I didn't want to get involved with an industry person. And and you know, when you're in a relationship and you bring it out the more, you haven't, you know, married yet. It's mm -hmm. just a relationship and you bring mm -hmm. it out the more and you flaunt it the more. That's when even a pasca. <laughs> and so I had that in mind and I thought that, ooh. Let me just take it easy. Let me not just be all like I want it, sort of. And actually, I wanted to take my time and get to know him properly. Okay. And so I think around 20, 2017, 2017, 2018, oh no, 20, 2016, between 2016 and 2017, I was getting to know my husband okay so um how long did you date or how long did you get i think to we know? dated we, we dated we got to know each other and dated for like three years hey Munye. <laughs> like three, three years good years yes. and no one knew i, I think they have crack edaso edaso eh three and a half years and no one knew no one how did you manage that Yes, that's one of the things I, I would want to commend my husband on because he, he from the scratch, also believed in that notion where you don't expose things that you love or like. And so for whether, what, whatever decision that we had as adults to know each other or date each other, we decided that it wouldn't be so much in the know of the public. And so before Friday, you did better. But So I think he had good plans. Okay. And, and good intentions. Of course, good intentions. Because for, for a moment, I was like, mm, why is he trying to be like, okay, let's not be so in the face of people with our relationship. And I'm very hit around. Oh, I'm hit around. I'm not going So, I mean, when, when I don't get to hear from him sometimes, I go like, okay, well, I thought you were different. Da, 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 da. You know, that yadi yadi woman thing. But I got to realize that he's actually a very um, calm, reserved person. If you don't get too close to him or he's not involved in whatever event it is, you wouldn't see him being all upfront like that. Yeah. When, when did he pop the question? Ooh. <laughs> he put the question after 
I think that was in 2018, towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Or oh, no, 2019. I don't remember. Because a lot of things have happened. 2019, I think the beginning of the year, from December to the next year, because we got married in 2019, yeah. and that was in June. And so a lot of things had come before then. Before then. So it was it was one night, one faithful night, 2 a.m. <laughs> 2. <laughs> 2. So, yes, because okay. we... we we had a little misunderstanding. Okay. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Rough, I'm mean. done. And pam, pam, I was gone. By the time I realized, my husband was right in my house. Uh -huh. And yes, he did the need for. And I was like, okay. Even with that, I was like, well, I'll think about it. Hey, two, I'll, two, <laughs> you are done. That's why they open. I'll think about it. Mm, and then it went on and on and on. And lo and behold, it happened. On the wedding day. Yeah. After all people had said, after all the rumors, the speculations, after people calling you a wild girl, a, you asked for Vicky, she's too hot, blah, blah, blah. You were eventually getting married. How did that make you feel? From the beginning, we knew, I knew, he knew, we both knew that it was going to be something of that kind. We knew that people were going to get talking because, of course, we didn't see you guys coming. How are you guys getting married? How do you expect to ask the public to receive this kind of news? And so it was, it was at first hand a mystery uh, coming together like that. But because we had psyched our minds for that kind of comments mm -hmm. and perceptions and all that new. So, I mean, we're just living the moment. We're just going by the flow and keeping our cool and doing what we needed to do. Yeah. You eventually became Mrs. Yes. Osafu Okansa. Yes, by the grace of God. By the grace of God. Yes. After the pressure, after the pressure. in the hotel room, <laughs> hurry up! <laughs> oh my god, that day was so much pressure. I I hear um, my husband was like, "Oh my god, where's my wife? Where's she? She was taking too long. You were doing makeup, and dressing <laughs> up, and taking pictures. I was looking good. You were. And we needed to document the the the, it's the very moment. Important. It's because what's a wedding without the memories? Exactly. Yeah. When you became Mrs. in cancer. What changed for you? A lot. A lot. A lot because um, it's good to be a single woman, um, independent, you know, hardworking and everything. And it's also good to be a married woman. I will not, um, you know, choose sides because everybody needs to go through a certain, you know, Face. phase to become who they finally want to become. And that's when you allow yourself and give in for that change. Then you will go through that transition. But when you're single and you want to remain single, that's your choice. Um, a lot has changed in the sense that I, as a woman, you it makes me whole in a way that I'm able to reproduce um, settle down, um, you know, not heed to many advances from, you know, all sorts of men, mm -hmm. because I've been there before. I've seen all kinds of um, um, proposals, all kinds of advances, mm -hmm. whether good or bad. I mean, I've been there, done that. I'm not a saint. But because I wanted that change, I wanted God to bless me through that change. I gave in. I opened up. I surrendered to that lifestyle. Listening to advice of people like you, Mama Ga, and all that made me know that there is somewhere that we finally need to rest our head upon. 
the will of God is for a woman to be, not to be just one, is to be two. And for a man to also be two. And so, a lot has changed. A lot has changed. Even how I'll put myself together yeah. when I'm stepping out, making an appearance. You need to know that you're a married woman. Yeah. And so, you need to package yourself so appropriately. Mm -hmm. If I'm a single woman, back in the years, I would just dress anyhow. A little bit of flesh uh -huh. here and there. But, but this intense. one... You have to, you know, even Akitesia. if you are being sexy, you have to add the architecture yeah. appropriately. And so a lot has changed. Um, I'm able to settle down, you know, even with promiscuity. Um, I'm happy by the grace of God. I don't get to see other men. You know, you are stuck to just one, one man. man. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, there is a lot we're going to discuss. We'll take a bit of a break. When we come back, we'll continue our conversation with Vicky. Yeah, the Fufu Crabbetum, a high sense hero promo. Ye crowd on a hobwa, na kunya never do amount. TV, sound system, mobile phone, ya titi su se who? She era 24 no wo high sense TV so 4K definition pa pe bi. Ye sasu wo QLED, and a mini LED TVs. Each is bia wo pe bia. E 5032, a kwa 600. She shem ne yi wo die. Wo de high sense TV, a she era 24. Asa wo to stadium ho, and in dao. Sound in the MOA clear. Now, Ukra High Sense Mobile Phone. Bet me out with Michelle. Every 10th, every 15th June. At the IF War, Naya Satis War. And your High Sense Hero Promo. High Sense Hero Promo. A Kosu or High Sense Showroom Bia. Eti Koho, Nako Judia. High Sense. Everyday prices for everyday people. Tasty Tom Tomato Mix. Oh, fuck a car. Now you're a baby. Fuck a car, young quiny stew. The door open. Tasty Tom, dear. It will surely give you value for money. The steak, a little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. Tasty Tom Tomato Mix, in tea. Me ha writing. And it's a soda. Then I need to be a sun, dear. Into customers, bar, never. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use Tasty Tom and Rich Tomato Mix. Fuck a car, young baby. This advert is FDA approved. I love person and charcoal. Why? When there are so many other charcoal toothpaste. That's both charcoal and lemon. Oh, does it? Yes. Look right here. Yes. Pepsin and Charcoal has two of nature's powerful whitening ingredients. With the power of activated charcoal and lemon essence, it removes stains and whitens teeth naturally. Convinced? Well, I am. Just look at your beautiful Pepsin and smells. <laughs> For naturally whiter teeth, Pepsin and Charcoal. Remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yas extra long sandwich pad took the worry away. Easy. Yas comfort, I got Yas confidence. The new Yaz Extra Long Sanitary Pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. But don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Feel confident, stay fresh. Hi, is this supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence, I got Yes. We got Yaz protection, I got Yaz Extra Long Sanitary Pad for extra comfort. We got Yaz Protection! Ow! Let me see. She's never had a toothache before. Hmm, there might be a cavity. Don't you use Pepsodent? We used to, but I'll try the new one. Ah, that's why. But doesn't every toothpaste give cavity protection? Not really. Pepsodent's Cavity Fighter repairs tiny invisible holes to give 10 times stronger teeth. Will you trust Pepsodent? Definitely. Pepsodent. Ten times stronger teeth. Use Pepsodent's cavity fighter. Every child is so unique. You like no other. Outstanding in every way. It's me like no other. So anytime you walk and play. You like no other. You are special like Indomie. It's me like no other. Did you know that every child on the planet has their own unique fingerprint like no other? As well 
as their own unique talents and abilities. I can cook. I can paint. You like no other. You like no other. So every day, in whatever you do, remember you are special in your own way, like no other. Thank you, Mom, for letting me know I'm special and for making me my special Indomie. Thank you, Mommy. Introduce it. Indomie Beef Flavor. Bye now. This advert is FDA approved. Super crazy giveaway moment, and we're live from the Mensha Palace. And I have a winner with me today. What do you want to say? Everyone say. The Millie. This is our Millie. Me three ask who phone I say. And then our phone say. Phone. Phone. I have a partner who my boss say I'm what you say. No, I do any so. Yeah, that's a pie. No, yeah, buy ya. Or drama more than a destroyer in Tinia Baye. Must support the restoration, must support the Stacey all these years. In Tiene High Sense for Abba, Ebe Kase, Yetamas, Sedane Dama support here. In two four now, say no, it should be much. Daisu, Daisu, High Sense, and see Abbe, High Sense, and see Embro Foon. Now for now, say no, to train, now you should be why, Papa, and then I'll catch your High Sense. Damas, in a mission, next time, maybe in the year. I was here, baby. Maybe next time, now in your fridge, or and I say TV. So would you do? I'm not sure. Oh, he named man. Me, who are making video? The pay alone. Why? Well, this is our winner for this week. Next week, we'll come your way with another winner. Restoration. Welcome back, and this is our winner for this week's High Sense Super Crazy Giveaway Moment. Very soon, Victoria will get to pick a card, and we'll see what she'll take to the Encanza home today. But we're back on our conversation, and I'm sure a lot of you are like, oh, Stacey, ask, 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 ask. If I'm away, I'm going to ask. Vicky, yeah. your marriage was sailing smoothly. You were having fun posting all the beautiful pictures, showing the world how gracious God had been to you and your home. Then we wake up one day and suddenly, boom, your husband's name is all over social media about something yeah. that most people would say was inappropriate for a married man. Where were you when you heard the news? Um, where was I? Where was I? Uh, I think I was in bed. I was at home. I apparently had no mother. I didn't I didn't know what was going on. So I think a day before a day before. I think I even joked. I I I I joked about something like something funny with my husband on the phone. I don't know if it was a day before or that day. God is God is very Serious, so because women and I, intuition <laughs> is crazy. I, I joke, there was something I'm like, Is it are you not coming home or something? Something I'm like, Um, are you not coming home? We talked about making love, okay? So I was playing, I was playing with him, like something like, Would you come and you know, give me a lick, you know. <laughs> 
you can give me a link and I was just messing around. You know that married mm -hmm. married couple thing on the phone. And I was laughing about it and he also laughed. So I hadn't, you know, heard about anything. I slept and at night I think I woke up and a friend of mine sent me. And I'm like, okay, what's I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. So you no, know, when your friend sent it to you, what thought came to your mind? Um I can't remember how I felt, but this whole thing, <laughs> I've really grown out of it. I've gone past it. We have gone past it. I even think it's too much of a sensitive issue to talk about um, because of victimization mm -hmm. and mental health. And so one way or the other, I, it's not so much of an issue that I, I, I should be so bothered about oh. because that's not my priority. That's not the kind of um, um, feedback I, I am looking for or I have built with my marriage over the years. And so it's, it's, it's already been dealt with. But there, there was something phenomenal you did, how you handled it. And when a lot of people were expecting you to jump, you were very calm. You were not bothered. You still lived your life. You still honored your husband. You still showed him love. That is a quality you don't get with a lot of mm. women lately. Because honestly, I don't think I really... Uh, I, think, I think I was real with how I felt. I, I honestly didn't see what the issue was until people kept, you know... Talking, talking and talking about and it. talking and talking because I know we all have past lives. I have a past life. I I know he's he's had friends back in. So I really didn't see the. You you saw it as trivial. Yes, yes, yes. And we've already dealt with it in a way that I mean, and it's by the grace of God that I had that composure to put up. It was by the grace of God, if I understand, understood what marriage is and some of the temptations that it comes with some of the good and bad sides that it comes with and so um i was actually ready for it i was built for all these kind of things and so if, if you embrace just, the good yes, you should be ready for anything yes, that comes yes yes so i mean marriage is not all about rosy having things rosy um, it's even in the Bible that if you decide not to marry, that's a good thing. But if you marry, you should also be ready for the consequences. So okay. it's that with you to, I mean, grab the good things that it comes mm -hmm. with and work on the challenges that, that it also with comes it. with. Soon after that, you surprised all of us with your business. How long did you nurse that skincare business? Okay. Um, yes, the skin pop shop. Wow. <laughs> it's been one of my biggest testimonies, even to myself, because I didn't see that coming. Um, I nursed it for like six years. And it all started with a case study, which is myself. I've always, you know, grown with blemishes on my face. From my adolescent age, pimples, throughout to acne during my adulthood. And so I realized that, no, this is something I really need to work on. Because if I'm Especially doing for movies, what you do. yeah, you don't want to be working out. with blemishes mm -hmm. and all that. So um, a few concerns also from my friends. So I was like, okay, let me give it a try. But I realized that all the... Um, on the market products or on the counter products, foreign products that help blemishes did not really work for work me for and also did not work for some friends that I knew. So I was like, ah, what's all with, with all these blemishes when, when you are going through your adulthood and adolescent age? Because I've had a friend who has teased me back in, back in the years, like way back in GHS, Kabori. 
had a friend who teased me, pa. Don't tease me, your face is Gary and don't be laughing. <laughs> but you know, God, God, there's a reason for everything. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't gone through that, I probably wouldn't have, you know, known the essence of working on it. And so I switched from the foreign products to natural remedies. Okay. And it started by just raw sugar, honey, turmeric, and all these herbal ingredients and organic homemade mm -hmm. recipes that uh, we are exposed to. And mm -hmm. that's how it started. So I started off doing a training session with a dermatologist that I also met in Nigeria, Dr. Bruce. He's been amazing to my skincare journey. Mm -hmm. And so he took me through that training and lo and behold, boom, a hit. A hit. <laughs> and so mm -hmm. I started off just getting the uh, ingredients that I needed. Um, I, I think I was doing my marriage shopping. I was buying stuff for my marriage. Oh. And so I got the ingredients along Long with it because with I didn't want to get married and then, you know, start jumping off to doing a business exactly. immediately. And so I, everything I did, you I planned. planned it. I thought of it. I had everything written down in paper, mm -hmm. you know, on paper. And so I planned everything systematically. And it happened the way I wanted it. So whilst I was home... Nursing my husband and myself. I was also nursing the, the business. The business. Yeah. And whilst you're nursing the business, you're also nursing a baby. Yes. In the making. Yes. So after after the business, I was getting pregnant. After pregnancy, I was nursing another baby. You know, so I kept I kept transitioning along the way. Along the way. I, I really am amazed the kind of transition I have been through over the years. And it hasn't been like after a while, it's been consistent. Spent. And even the strength to carry it along, um, I'm really amazed. Now with marriage and having a child, it's changed everything for you. Yeah. Your outlook has become more corporate than before. Now you are clocking all sorts of deals. Would you say marriage motherhood has been a fantastic blessing to you? Yes, because that's an a uh, hundred percent growth and uh, growth and development in process. Um, it's been a great deal for me being a mother and also a wife and also a businesswoman at the same time, career woman at the same time. A lot of things are happening to me, and I think it's because of how I've, I've matured into. A married woman because marriage comes with a lot of blessings um, if you're not in it you may not see it or you may not feel how it is like but once you get into it things should start falling in place because that the responsibility becomes double <laughs> you know so um, that has been a factor looking back through your journey what is that one time you turn back and you're like, what was I thinking? <laughs> ah, I, I don't think I have. Because for the kind of understanding I have now, as far as growth and development is concerned, I believe that every phase that you go through, you needed it at a time. Mm -hmm. You know, so I I don't think I really have, even if I have now with my kind of understanding, I don't I don't try to look back and say, what was I thinking? I think that I, I embrace every journey and every step I have gone through. What's the way forward for Victoria? <laughs> way forward is um, just doing the things that I have been elevated to do. Um, doing the things I have been elevated to do. I have um, my corporate business uh, on the side calling me to a lot of responsibilities. Um, I've been appointed an ambassador for Global Entrepreneurship Festival that's yet to happen in Nigeria in November. And so I have to embark on uh, quite a number of objectives per my role. And also um, um, heeding to 
uh, the call of God upon my life, which I have already uh, started. I've already started put, putting measures in place to uh, start the work of God. And it's, I, I've seen it, uh, all, I mean, it's amazed a couple of people, a lot of people, not a couple, a lot of people. Uh, I'm sure you're also yes, I've, I've been watching keenly. <laughs> Yes, um, it's not like I'm starting a church. Yeah, giddy, giddy, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just I mean, a ministry. It's just yes, it's just a calm thing mm -hmm. that I give. I give in my all when when I need to. You have done well. Thank you. You have done so well. Thank so does you. that mean acting is on the shelf? No, acting is still running. Because, acting, yes, <laughs> because I'm coming to Adora. Adora. <laughs> Adora is 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 one of the mysterious things that are uh, that is happening to me right now because mm -hmm. I have always yearned to be casted for a role that gave me the opportunity to, to speak be versatile. like to be versatile, yes, and to speak like an abochi. Okay, because I used to we used to have a um, a servant back in the years with my mm -hmm. mom and dad, who, a guy who came from the north. And then anytime he's talking, so I mean it was and very I'm sure you you were so amused. <laughs> it was so amusing. I was so amused. I'm like, oh my god. And so I loved that guy so much as a brother because he was helping us a lot. And so even when he had to leave us, I was crying. Oh. And so lo and behold, Celeste Ibrahim called on me to join the that Market makes sense. Queens. The Market Queen series series. And she gave me the role. And I had to speak like Abochi because I was fatty and also the wife, like I was uh, a rival to Beverly Afaglo nice. and I was a drawer, selling a draw, solving people's problems when I even had a problem to solve myself. So that's the irony of that role. Oh, okay. But I had to, you know, Step carve it out. Uh -huh. So after the series, it got so much into me and I started you know, behaving like that. <laughs> so I thought it wise to rather put it into a craft wow. and not just let it slide okay. like that. Now Eugene is also out there pushing boundaries. Oh, yeah. The day he told me about, oh, since I left, that's why I was like, are you kidding me? It's like, oh, don't worry, but I'm doing something better. And I'm impressed with how you're pushing him. Yeah. Because a man might have the vision if he does not have a supportive yes. force behind him, because we are always the ones who just step on his toe and go like, ah, if I went to her, yes, you know say. when he told you he was leaving, were you happy about it? Um, I wasn't, but he, we had to sit as a family to dissect things well. And even sometimes when it come, as a conversation, I mean, he had to do things amicably. He wasn't just leaving Neither, because he yeah. wanted to, because I think he was growing and um, um, seeing different lights yeah. that he needed to really sit down and assess things properly mm. to be able to pave them through. And so, I mean, it, it, was, it, was, it was a tough one. It was a tough decision. We we went back and forth with him, okay. leaving and not leaving and leaving. going back, you know, even to United Showbiz and all that. Wow. But lo and behold, uh, lo and below, the, the will to, of God is yes, what Yes, he had to just switch to his own office. But I'm proud of both of you. And Thank I pray you. the good Lord continues Amen. to be a wind that pushes Amen. you guys beyond boundaries Amen. and there are so many op um, opportunities and avenues yeah. don't be afraid just go for them right because the blessings of god are boundless so just keep pushing and be unstoppable all right thank you okay so now it's time for a high sense moment kindly pick a card and let me okay. have your card can i pick two you can actually pick one. If Eugene is interested, he has to come here himself. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Why can't I pick one for him? No, you can't. It, it oh. was your interview, not his interview. Eh. Until here, Umbra. Sound. Yeah, you know, sir. 
and then I did. I said, "What don't you see?" Twenty 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 twenty. And I go that album. Don't talk about it. I draw a heart. I draw no. I draw no. Why you Sugar, 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 sugar. Hey, hey. I saw my blood. Mama, who niya why you correct? No mafa. Hey, I saw my blood. Mhm. What's it mafa we? Kashia no na wa woman. Okay. Mhm. Thank you for coming. You take home a Bluetooth speaker. Open your. Me open your pa. Hey. Eso. Where did they bring me back to Anibio? Oh, but your high sense. Yeah, the ketwa. Yeah, yeah, the ketwa. Ham, but your this is high sense. Oh, that's so big. You're going to disturb your neighborhood. I've been looking for a speaker for my porch. Is it? Then here you go. Thank you. Wow. Catch a Eugene say, "Oh, you ready? I'm making it here. We need the anchor home. Oh, boy, you cannot connect the phone. Are you free? Thank you so much. That's not all. So you can put this down. Then this is from Lexta Ghana Limited. Producers of Yas. Oh, yes, yeah. yes has been giving me so much yes. gifts. Nice. Thank you. So thank, thank you very much for coming. A big thank you to our sponsors, High Sense Everyday Prizes for Everyday People, Yas Wash and Powder, and Yas Sanitary Pad, Hooch, Con, and Choco Flix La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, to Wazi Apartments located at Mile 7 near the Mile 7 Park. A big thank you to ABS Lux Line, to GH Beauty Artistry, and Hair Duties for My Hair. I would want to say a very big thank you to Malta Guinness for continuously supporting restoration. And I would want you to go out there to grab your Malta Guinness Jaja can. Yeah, this is the Jaja can. So if you go out there, look out for the parts that we have written, proudly made in Ghana. This is a Ghana product. So go out there and grab yours and thank me later. I'd like to say a very big thank you to all of you watching us across the world. We're so, so, so grateful to all of you for your support. Always do remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. We'll see you next week.